The photography world is buzzing with anticipation over Nikon's rumored ZFR, a camera that promises to bridge the gap between classic design and modern mirrorless technology. Nikon has long impressed photographers with its ability to combine nostalgic aesthetics with high-end imaging performance, and the ZFR seems poised to take this philosophy even further. Fans of the ZF series know how Nikon has masterfully blended retro-inspired styling with contemporary features, creating cameras that are as visually captivating as they are functional. The ZFR, however, is generating even more excitement as leaks suggest a host of upgrades that could push Nikon's mirrorless lineup into entirely new territory. Much of the intrigue surrounding the Nikon ZFR comes from its rumored 60 megapixel full frame sensor. If these leaks are accurate, this would mark a significant jump from the ZF sensor, positioning the ZFR directly alongside flagship competitors such as Sony's A7RV and Canon's EOS R5. High resolution sensors are not just about sheer pixel count, they provide photographers with unprecedented flexibility, allowing for extensive cropping without losing detail capturing subtle textures, and producing sharper, more detailed images. The prospect of a 60-megapixel sensor on a retro-inspired body has photographers dreaming of combining ultimate image quality with a tactile, analog field shooting experience. Beyond Xi resolution, the Nikon ZFR is expected to improve on the ZF's ergonomics, an area that received mixed reviews from its predecessor. While the ZF's slim, elegant body was visually striking, Many photographers found the grip less than ideal during extended shooting sessions. Reports suggest that Nikon may be redesigning the ZFR's grip to provide a more secure and comfortable hold without sacrificing the camera's retro aesthetic. Such improvements could make the ZFR far more appealing to professionals who shoot for long periods, as well as enthusiasts who appreciate a camera that feels as good as it looks. If Nikon executes these changes well, the ZFR could offer the perfect combination of style and usability. One of the ZF series' most beloved traits was its physical dials, which gave photographers direct, tactile control over key settings like ISO, shutter speed, and exposure compensation. This hands-on approach reminiscent of analog cameras, provided a unique shooting experience in a digital age dominated by touchscreens and menu-based adjustments. Early reports suggest the ZFR will retain these tactile controls and may even refine them further, offering an even more intuitive, immersive interface. Maintaining these elements is crucial for those who value craftsmanship and physical interaction in a camera, making the ZFR feel like a truly purposeful tool rather than just another digital device. In terms of performance, the Nikon ZFR is expected to focus primarily on high-resolution still photography rather than ultra-fast action shooting. While the ZFR may not compete with the Z8 or Z9 in terms of rapid burst rates, its emphasis on image quality and fine detail suggests a camera aimed at portrait, landscape and studio photographers. A rumored burst speed of around 10 frames per second would be sufficient for most scenarios outside of professional sports or wildlife photography. The ZFR seems designed to cater to photographers who prioritize precision and image fidelity over chasing the fastest shutter speeds. Video capabilities are another area of intense speculation. Given the industry trend toward 8K recording in flagship cameras, it is possible the Nikon ZFR will include 8K video support. The Z8 and Z9 already offer 8K functionality, so incorporating it into the ZFR would help it remain competitive, particularly for hybrid shooters who need both high-quality stills and professional video capabilities. Of course, 8K video comes with challenges. It requires significant processing power, heat management, and large amounts of storage. For many photographers, 4K or even 1080p remains sufficient but having 8K as an option would offer additional flexibility for creative cropping, post-production adjustments, and archival purposes. One of the most exciting aspects of the Nikon ZFR is its rumored combination of high-resolution imaging with advanced color science. While details are still speculative, Nikon has a strong history of delivering cameras with excellent dynamic range and accurate color reproduction. The ZFR could potentially offer improvements in tonal depth and highlight retention, 
possibly even pushing towards 16-bit RAW recording. While medium format cameras usually reserve this level of color fidelity, bringing it to a full-frame mirrorless body would be groundbreaking, offering photographers the ability to manipulate images with unprecedented subtlety and precision. Even a more conservative 10 to 14-bit RAW implementation would still place the ZFR among the most capable full-frame mirrorless cameras on the market. Ergonomics and handling remain central to the ZFR's appeal. The ZF's slim profile and minimalistic approach were praised for aesthetics, but criticized for comfort during long sessions. Nikon seems keenly aware of this, and the ZFR may include a redesigned grip that offers more secure handling without compromising the camera's iconic retro look. Such a change would make the ZFR more attractive to professionals and enthusiasts alike, as a camera that combines beauty with usability can dramatically improve the shooting experience. The tactile dials, coupled with an improved grip, could make the ZFR a joy to use, enhancing both the creative process and the sense of craftsmanship in photography. When looking at potential competitors, the Nikon ZFR faces some tough rivals. Sony's A7RV, with its 60 megapixel sensor and advanced autofocus system, and Canon's EOS R5, with 45 megapixels and robust 8K video, already occupy significant positions in the premium mirrorless market. Panasonic's Lumix S1R also competes with 47 megapixels and strong image quality, though it is less versatile for video. The ZFR's unique angle, combining retro styling, tactile controls, and a focus on high-resolution imaging, may help carve out a distinct niche. Photographers seeking a hybrid of classic design and modern performance may find the ZFR particularly compelling. Autofocus performance remains a critical consideration for the Nikon ZFR. While the camera's focus appears to be on high-resolution stills, hybrid shooters will still expect reliable subject tracking for both photography and videography. Sony and Canon have advanced AI-driven autofocus systems that offer fast, accurate tracking of people, animals, and even vehicles. Nikon will need to bring competitive technology to the ZFR to ensure it appeals to a wide audience, particularly for portrait, wildlife, and event photography. Any improvements in autofocus, combined with the rumored high-resolution sensor, could make the ZFR a formidable contender in its segment. Rumors suggest that the Nikon ZFR may launch sometime in late 2026 or early 2027. While this may seem like a long wait, Nikon has a history of carefully developing cameras to ensure quality and impact. The extended timeline suggests deliberate refinement of design, ergonomics, sensor performance, and overall user experience. Enthusiasts are likely to appreciate this patience, as cameras that are thoughtfully executed often outperform those rushed to market. Nikon's approach with the ZFR signals a commitment to delivering a camera that is not only visually appealing, but also technically impressive and reliable. The Nikon ZFR remains shrouded in speculation, with each leak adding pieces to the puzzle. What is becoming clear, however, is that Nikon aims to create a camera that appeals to photographers who value image quality, tactile handling, and aesthetic appeal. Rather than chasing every trend or pushing extreme speeds, the ZFR emphasizes a balanced experience, retro design, high-resolution imaging, and modern conveniences. If Nikon succeeds, the ZFR could become a standout in the full-frame mirrorless market, offering a refreshing alternative to the speed and tech-driven designs of its competitors. In conclusion, the Nikon ZFR is shaping up to be one of the most intriguing upcoming full-frame mirrorless cameras. Its combination of retro aesthetics, modern imaging technology, high-resolution sensors, and potential video capabilities make it highly anticipated. Nikon's careful approach to design, ergonomics, and performance signals that the ZFR could deliver a unique balance between nostalgia and cutting-edge functionality. While not designed for extreme speed applications, it aims to serve photographers who prioritize image quality, handling, and the joy of using a thoughtfully designed tool. As leaks and rumors continue to emerge, the Nikon ZFR promises to be a camera that might surprise and impress photographers across multiple genres, redefining what a full-frame mirrorless camera can offer.